Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to cover a time series model. ChatTS is a model which has been designed by ByteDance for understanding and reasoning over time series data, similar to how multimodal large language models process vision, video or audio. This model has been built upon the powerful Quen 2.5 14 billion instruct model and fine-tuned with synthetic data. Chat TS is capable of natively handling both univariate and multivariate time series with flexible lengths and value ranges. This allows this model to analyze, interpret and generate insights about temporal patterns, trends and anomalies directly from raw time series input. I have been covering these time series models for a long time now. And if you just go to my channel and search with time series, you should be able to find heaps of videos. One of the really, really impressive one was this tiny time mixer model by IBM, which was released over nine months ago. So do check them out. And there are various others too. So we are going to install this chat TS 14 million on our local system and we will see how it works. And I will be talking a bit more about this model down the road. For the VM, this Ubuntu one and my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm very grateful to Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPU. So please do check them out. I have just created a virtual environment with Konda and then I'm going to install some of the prerequisites so that we could get this model downloaded and play with it. While it downloads and installs these prereqs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGentBot. iGentBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And now we need to download the model and I'm just going to use my Hugging Face CLI. And now you need to provide it the free read token from Hugging Face and that you can grab from your profile for free. So let me paste that token and let me type capital Y and you can see that I am now logged in. Okay. And the reason we have logged in is to download the model. For that, let me clear the screen. Let me create a quick directory CKPT. And then I'm just going to download the model like this, where I am using this JTS model into the CKPT directory. There are six shards of it. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And maybe this is a good uh, point where we could talk a bit more about the use cases for this chat TS model. It is ideal for various applications that require deep temporal understanding such as financial analysis, um, maybe stock price trends or anomaly detection. It could be used in industrial IoT where you need it for sensor data monitoring. You could use it for predictive maintenance, healthcare, maybe in healthcare for patient vital sign analysis. You could use it in energy system for demand forecasting and much more. It can be used for both descriptive tasks where you want to summarize trends or detecting regime shifts and complex reasoning. For example, you want to compare multiple time series com explaining outliers, inferring likely causes. So by integrating this chat TS into your AI pipeline, you can develop intelligent assistant um, of conversational time series analytics. And you can also uh, bring a new range of interpretability and interactive analysis to time series heavy domains, such as I, as I mentioned, the IoT devices. The model has been downloaded. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download our model. And the model is now being loaded onto the GPU. Okay, so the model is now loaded. 
next up let's design a very simple time series just for the sample so i'm just creating the sim uh, sample time series here and then i am plotting it with matplot and this is what it looks like it's a very simple univariate time series and now let's do the analysis of this time series with the model so all i'm doing here i'm giving it this prompt that i have a time series length of this length which we uh, uh, declared above this is a prompt template we are encoding it with the processor and then model is generating the output we are printing it back so let's see what sort of analysis it does and there you go it has done the analysis for this univariate time series that in the overall trend the time series shows a significant decrease the value starts from this and ends at this number with an overall amplitude of this local phase changes were observed including a sudden decrease so if you go up there you go you see how good that looks so you, this is a univariate one let's try out one multivariate and by the way a univariate time series has a single variable measured over time or one column while a multivariate time series has two or more variables recorded simultaneously or at the same time at each time point in multiple columns so for instance as an example of this multivariate let's uh, go with three signals so these are the three signals as you can see three columns and this is what i'm going to check out in this example now let's it, give it a prompt and then we will print the analysis so i'm just going to scroll down and run this so again i am just giving it a prompt with three variables and i'm asking it to analyze the trends and relationships among the variable or maybe before i run it i'm just going to open a new terminal and check out the vram consumption in real time so i'll just minimize it i'll run this while it runs let's check out so it is consuming wow quite quite a big model it's over 30 gig of vram it is consuming but it's a 14 billion one there you go so maybe you can even run it in real time while as the data comes or streams through and this is analysis that among the three variables the overall trend of where two is steady while where one shows a significant increase from this point to this point where three also shows an increasing trend but with more variability in its slope so there you go perfect so if you're a you know someone who deals with this kind of data i'm sure you can appreciate that how much blessing this is instead of you going through it or using the previous cnn sort of or convolutional model because this one is just takes it to the new level okay let's maybe finally do one more use case where i'm going to do two type separate time series comparison uh, maybe let me show you what i mean i'm just going to run this and it is going to plot it let's go down there you go so the, these are the two ones and i just want to maybe compare both of these how good is that let's try it out so i'm just going to run the code here and let's run it let's wait for it and you can also check out how quick and speedy this model is there you go it says both series exhibit significant variation in values over their length with ts1 the first one starting at around this and ending ending at this and this is the second one and despite these large overall amplitude changes neither series shows any local characteristic wow the trend in both series are generally steady so if you go above perfect and then it talks about different levels and stuff so look very very impressive model from byte dance again and they are very active i would say for example if you go to my channel and just search with byte dance they are releasing models left right and center for the last couple of months they i mean more actively so you can see they are working in different modalities from tts models to some world models to some of the segmentation models and latent sync models some image models text model so things are really really hyperactive at byte dance anyway uh, that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider 
subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching